What up, Slacker? Slacker out here. Welcome back to Vampire Spelled with a Y. I don't know why. I said this in the last episode already. Why am I making the same? Anyways. Game's cool. Game's awesome. A lot of back and forth. You gotta talk to a lot of characters. This is kind of that game where you have to investigate, talk to a whole bunch of people, uh, get the feel for them because they all, I guess, have different personalities and you have to get to know them and investigate. So it's kind of an interesting, it's not a super fast paced game. It's a really heavy story driven, but I like it. I like, uh, like I said before, I like games with the good stories and kind of makes it feel almost like a movie, you know? So I'm liking it. it, it it's, it's, it hasn't wowed me yet, but I'm liking it. So I have hope for this game still, or I really hope it gets better. It's getting good, so let's see what's happening and let's get to it. Alright. Oh, now the door's open. This door wasn't open before. That's weird. Alright. What if? Okay. Uh, can I upgrade anything? Like my gun? Can I? No. Nope, I still don't think I can. Alright, well, that's a shame. Nope. Okay. How about my... I have some XP. Let's see if I can upgrade Simidad. Whatever. Okay. Let's 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 upgrade. All right. So Why don't we upgrade some science? Let's do that. Um, spring? You perform a supernatural move to to your target and cause damage on upon landing. Drain your stamina fa uh, what? You will exceed the the shadows if you if you attack or dodge or when you Huh. You will block your target's blood in their veins, making them defenseless. Oh. I guess that's like a stunning kind of a thing. What is this? You create an invisible barrier absorbing direct damage until it fades or it's destroyed. That is interesting, very interesting. What is this? Place a cloud or shadows at the target's feet or yours. The cloud will explode. Oh yeah. I'm gonna do this one. A spring. Hmm. Okay, let's do that. And then I have 20 left. Oh, well. Alright. Alright. Come on. Get up from off the bed. I wonder, can I change my outfit? No? 
That would be cool. No, I can't change my outfit. I guess not. Why would I? I look badass as it is. Alright, whatever. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. Wait, I just saw the serum. Where's the serum? Shit. Oh, I can give somebody the serum like that? Maybe that's how I helped that one guy I couldn't help last time. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Anything? Anything useful? Anything useful? Come here. I don't give a damn about a medical file. Why would I want to read? I was elected to lead, not to read. What's over here? Anything over here? Anything useful? That's all the way at the top. I just curious. Apparently nothing. Apparently there's a room that leads to nowhere. Stairs that lead to nowhere. Nah, I can't go through there. Dr. Swansea. Please, Jonathan, come in. To be or not to be? What the fuck are you doing? Fascinating, is it not? Uh, in the last sure. decade, so many mysteries have been brought to light with our microscopes. Mm -hmm. The human body, biology's penultimate frontier. That's creepy. Why? The more we explore its boundaries, the less we're able to trace a clear line between life and death. Looks like you're trying to fucking make out with it. <laughs> the, you, my friend, have a foot in both countries. The view must be vertiginous. It's at least as vertiginous as chatting about vampires with you, I would say. Hmm. This must be also new to you. What? Why did it tell me to press? Whatever. This area of town, the hospital, a brand new life. How stimulating it must be. I wish hmm. I could share your enthusiasm, Dr. Swansea. Yes, Doctor. But my condition defies scientific categorization. Undead? Unalive? Immortality defies logic. I cannot express my thrill at this serendipitous turn of events. The Serendipitous. Most eminent specialist in blood transfusions, a vampire. One might say a gift from heaven. Mm-hmm. This is a gift. I'm this... a dead man. I was murdered. Now I'm a murderer. Tell me how this is a gift. Forgive me. I've yeah. been an admirer of your work for a long time and now you are so much more than a brilliant physician. And please, call me... Call me Edgar. Okay, Edgar. Um, no, I'm not going to apologize because that was a little rude. This is not amusing. I don't want to keep being rude. We need each I'm other. I'm not some doe-eyed student, Edgar. I understand we both have something to gain from this relationship. Very well. I have a task for you, Jonathan. Something that will require all your newfound skills. Please, go on. Okay. Pembroke only survives through the generosity of our benefactors. Unfortunately, our main donor has found herself in a bit of a bind. Now, if you could help her out... A spokesman or politician is what you need. That's not my calling. And until I come to understand what has happened to me, I require discretion. Right. Discretion is in order, Jonathan. But you are a doctor. Lady Ashbury has recently received rather indelicate correspondence that, if revealed, would jeopardize her position. And you would like me to eradicate this threat? By the stole, of course not. I would just like you to pay her a visit. 
Her ladyship is certainly near the tents outside, tending the sick. You can't miss her. Look for someone impossibly delicate. Impossibly Except delicate. I'll see what kind of trouble Lady Ashbury is in. All right. I got you, fam. Even though you're not really fam down there, huh? Maybe that's just the way the British spell it? Like, I know uh, English English, like British English language, spell their words differently. Maybe that's just how the Y is because they spell vampire differently? Spell a few other words differently, too, but... I just guess and... Can I take the skull? I want the skull. No? Okay. Bye-bye! Let's get out of here. Uh... That's the shit that leads to nowhere. Down here. Huh. Okay, does this lead to nowhere as well? It sure fucking does. Or was it the same... I think it's the same way I tried last time. Let's try up y'all. Oh. But I can't go through it. I'm low on blood. I need it. I need... I need blood. Talk to the hospital benefactor. Find who is spying on Thelma. Where's Thelma? There she is. Maybe I could find who's spying on her? This person's close by. You're the only person close by. But you're... Maybe you... Dude, are you spying on Thelma? Good evening, sir. Can I help you? Unless you're here to fix my face. No. Ooh. I don't think you can help me. I'm Dr. Reed. I've recently taken the position of head surgeon here. War injuries, am I right? You guessed right, Doctor. Hmm. A German shell took my pretty little mug right off. But they still call me Thomas Elwood. Uh, rumors of shady Have business? Have you heard rumors of underhand dealings in the hospital? If you want to know what's going on here, you better talk to Miss Jones. She knows everything. Especially what she shouldn't. Oh, okay. Did you Where serve? You station, sir? Did you serve for long? I really don't want to talk about all this shit. No offense. I was pushing too much. I served in France myself. I just wanted to know what happened to you. You were an officer, weren't you? Then I doubt huh. we fought the same war, sir. Mm. No offense. Right. That does make sense, I guess. Can I... Can I do it? Oh, how do I mesmerize you? There we go. Oh, I don't, I just wanted to ask him questions. No, I'm gonna release you. Yeah, I was just trying to ask him questions. Let's see, who is following you, Chick? What was that? I saw something... What was out here? Thelma Howcroft said she was being watched by vampire hunters. Where are they hiding? I should investigate. 
Yeah, that. Arranged to have you buried in the same mass grave with your wife. I think that might help. It's locked, all right. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Always a pleasure to meet a colleague, sir. Mm -hmm. Especially when he was supposedly dead. A colleague. Are you a doctor too? Not anymore, sir. I used to be Dr. Rakesh Chadana. Doctor, huh? Now, I'm just Mr. Chadana. Pawnbroker and humble guardian of this morgue. What do you mean? You used to be a doctor. A morgue? License revoked. No, sir. It is just that I like to be precise. I run a little pawn shop while taking care of the dead. But I used to be a real doctor. Okay. Not afraid of the dead? Do you work here alone? Have we met before? Have we met before? I don't think so, sir. Why? When we first talked, you said you were glad to meet me since I was reported dead. Funny story, sir. Your sister came here a few nights ago. Oh. You were missing, and she oh. was looking for your body. She oh. must be very relieved now. Oh. Well, she did. No, he's a level four. Fuck that. Okay. Not afraid of the dead? Are you afraid or uneasy being surrounded by so many corpses? Why should I? These bodies are empty vessels. Flesh left to decay. Poof. No soul anymore. All gone. Mm hmm. An interesting point of view. Yeah. And quite an exotic one, too. Most people fear, or at least have a respect, for dead flesh. Sir, as a medic during the war, I learned to face my death and the death of others. It's the pain we have to tame, not death itself. Oh. Okay. How did you get this job? After I left the army, I worked as an undertaker down by the docks. A dangerous place with many an unpleasant business there. Milton Hooks helped me get a job here. All right. Do you work here alone? Yes, very easy work, sir. All I have to do is watch a few bodies. The situation was very different when the main morgue was still open. Why, 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 why watch the bodies? Why do you have to watch these bodies? Because these poor fellows have no names. We keep them in case someone comes looking for the missing. Wow. Sadly, very rarely happens. Mm, okay, I guess so. I closed the hospital's main morgue. It was for sanitary reasons after the beginning of the epidemic. Cadavers had to be moved to the nearest mass grave. Okay. Well. Please okay. show me what you have to sell. Of course. It's just trinkets and curios, really. But I'm sure they can be useful. Oh, okay. I can buy shit. Sodium. Opi opium. God. These are all... Hmm. All this guy has is chemicals. Which I don't think I really need any right now. Alright, bye. I'll just take this. Good evening, Dr. Reed. No! Such a pleasure to see you again. Get the fuck out. Goodbye, Mr. Chidana. I got opium right there. Why well, would I have to buy it from him? Who is watching... Man, I did all that so I could try to see who was... Where the fuck is she? Try to see who was watching this, the... The what's-her-face?
There you are. Good evening, Miss Howcroft. How are you tonight? I need blood, Doctor. Warm, rich, vibrant blood. Hmm. About blackmailing with these walls? Have you heard of any blackmailing going on within these walls? I have no time for mortal games. My secrets are beyond their comprehension, Dr. Reed. Okay, sure. How about a personal question? Who are Who you really? Are you really, Miss Howcroft? I mean, apart from being a vampire. Is that not enough for you, puny mortal? What do you require? Hmm? Proof of my powers? I'm curious sure. to know who you were before becoming a vampire. No, it was such a long time ago, I don't remember. Centuries of unholy life can have strange effects on one's minds, you see? Uh, sure. Sure. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. <sighs> I wish I could be sick again. Feel my blood boil with the fever. Talk to you. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Doctor Reed. How is the situation here? You have been a nurse for how long? How long have you been a nurse? Well, long yes. enough to see that the epidemic is winning. And no matter how qualified you are, don't tell me you'll change that. Change your attitude, for real. You're right. When dealing with such a terrible disease, one must remain humble. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't try our best. <sighs> Sorry, Doctor. You better be bitch. I don't want to sound bitter, but I'm just too tired to give a pep talk like Nurse Brannigan. Hmm. <sighs> um, personal question? Can I get anything out of you? Hmm. Can I? No, I can't. Fine. All right. Bye. Goodbye. But the suffering continues. All right. Well, I tried to see who was fucking following her, but I guess not. It's enough time wasting on that. Let's. Who are you? All right. Whatever. Huh. Let's just go. Okay. Hi. The flu took my dear wife, Emily. I take comfort knowing we'll soon be together again. Mm. Mr. Rainfield, that's no way to talk. You're in good hands here, and we'll be up again soon enough. Alrighty. He's, he looks I'll like he has a Justin Bieber haircut. Sleep. I'll be back round later. Your words are kind. The blessings of an angel. You're the sweet, sweet lady of mercy. Hmm. Hello, super frail lady. You don't look that frail. Good you look like Dr. Reed. You look like you can it's a beat me up. To see you again. You seem surprised. Doctor Swansea has brought me up to speed concerning your recent appointment to Pembroke Hospital. You're a vamp. The lady mm. who saved me that night. Before vanishing oh, into yeah. That is you. I remember you from the pub with Dr. Swansea. Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself formally this time. My name is Lady Ashbury. Mm -hmm. I remember you well, in spite of the brevity of our encounter. All right. Well, thank you for helping out. I feel played, Swanson. Yeah, he f fancies vamp. Our Dr. Swansea does indeed have a fascination for creatures of our constitution. Dr. Swansea is a remarkable man. Dedicated, one might say, obstinate? He spent hmm. years compiling our bestiary. 
I hope you're more disposed to answer my questions now. Yeah. You must have countless questions. I sure do. A rather urgent matter first. What? Sandy has explained. My cover, if you prefer, has been compromised. Okay. I have questions about vampires. Well, she's not going to answer them. Patients have given the patients given you trouble. These poor souls have so little left to live for. I do my best to ease their pain. I don't know if I truly believe you. You seem nice, but I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, I guess, until you prove. I don't know. Okay, okay. The world would be a better place if it were cared for by women like you. You make me blush. I am simply a necessary evil. A necessary evil. I have questions Pardon about. My boldness, your ladyship, but I have questions concerning this condition we share. As a newborn, your hunger for answers is rivaled only by your thirst for blood. But the questions need weight. <sighs> Fine, bitch. My trade is in the deciphering of mysteries, and I need information to feed my mind. I will gladly answer every question you have, but first, prove yourself capable of resolving my predicament without eating the culprit. Eating the culprit, okay. Dr. Swansea has commissioned me to be your agent in this matter. You could start by explaining what's amiss. Yeah, what's going on, baby girl? These past insufferable weeks, I've been the victim of extortion. Mm. I've made a first payment, but the blackmailer grows greedy. I must refuse his most recent demands. Okay, what do you want? What do you want from me? Is there another vampire? Th um... Is this another vampire? So foolish as to threaten you, a kindred spirit. Even if it were the case, and I highly doubt it, a vampire would have asked for something more valuable than money. Mm. My suspicions lean toward a patient or their family. Patient or their family? Why not resolve this yourself? Ordinary criminal, surely you've the means to deal with it yourself. As immortal tradition doth dictate, all fangs and hypnotic eyes ablaze, the blood would run like a river. That's what I hope to avoid. Violence has mm. a tendency to spiral out of control. Okay. All right, what do you want from me? Please be precise. As the newly appointed surgeon of this hospital, you are in an excellent position to ask innocent questions and deftly learn the identity of my blackmailer. Okay, okay. Please continue. Every detail is essential. I'm your man. I guess my so. My embarrassment in this matter is eclipsed only by my shame at having put the hospital at risk. The threat from our anonymous scoundrel is clear. A list of dates. My visits coinciding with the dates of suspicious patient deaths due to massive blood loss. Hmm. So you were drinking blood from uh, patients who were going to die so you could put them out of their misery, I guess. That's something you could do. Is it true? Is it true? Now aren't you the blunt one? Bitch, I'm helping you out. It is only logical. I just need information. Excuse my impertinence, your ladyship. This is not an interrogation. I assure you that this line of questioning is in your best interest. In all honesty, I'm not simply a patron to the hospital. My visits serve a dual purpose. Dr. Swansea has been treating my condition with a revolutionary technique of blood transfusion. It seems mm. you are a specialist in the domain. I'll take care of it. Do you know where I should start? 
If that was the case, I'd settle the matter myself. You could talk to our local gossip, Harriet Jones. Harriet I'll Jones. Drop here without her hearing about it. I'll meet that woman now. Okay. My life, as others know, is in your hands, Dr. Reed. I'm sure of your discretion. But I do fear your it's like a persuasion will be put to the test. Man, this is like a movie. When this is resolved, I'll be your obligé. I'll answer all questions in regards of your condition. condition. All right. Uh. Perhaps I should have considered the offer from that Cadogan fellow. Oh, she's inside, I guess. Let's see. No, I can't drink you. I need blood. Hi, bitch. What? What is this? Who are you? Get out of my room. There's no need for alarm, madam. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon. Preposterous. Dr. Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. Where's Dr. Swansea? Shut up. No, please calm down. Please calm down, madam. I assure you that I am highly qualified. I'm just back from war duty. Yeah. Oh, how brave. Threatening an old defenseless woman. You know how long I've been a patient here. You've picked the wrong fight. I'm Harriet, <laughs> Harriet, I'm Harriet Jones. Jones. Indeed. Indeed. I've been meaning to have a chat with you. You know what goes on here better than any other patient, I gather. Oh, better than any patient, nurse or doctor. I've seen so many vile undertakings. I heard there have been some despicable goings on. Was there a case of blackmail? Blackmail? Ooh. Wait, you're investigating something. <laughs> this isn't a social call. One of those incompetent cunts is a poor sod's vein. Okay. Are you the blackmailer? You like gossip. I don't know, was that a fender? Let's go for it. If I didn't know better, Miss Jones, I'd be inclined to say you enjoy this type of idle gossip. God's honest truth, Doctor. It's just the way it is here. Most of these bitches would let you freeze to death before giving <laughs> you a blanket. Damn. I assure you, madam, this is not an investigation into a possible medical error. Debauchery, then? Nurses Crane, Hawkins, Brannigan's... Whores, all of them, they can't keep their legs shut. I've seen them scratching slutty sores. Really? Ooh. Well, if you have irrefutable Ooh. proof, I'll not have the staff behaving in such a manner here. This is your business, Doctor, not mine. But I swear one of the nurses is cavorting with some man on hospital hours. Thank you for your time, Miss Jones. You've given me something to go on. See you on the next round. Huh. Find Miss Pippa Hawkins. The patients and staff might know something. I'll start my investigation with them. I need some blood. I need a drain before I find anybody else. Can I? Oh, you're here. Nope, never mind. Uh. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Ah. Uh. Yeah. What can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You spoke with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. She's full of fanciful tales. 
Is it you? Hmm. She could have said telling the truth about the mysterious man. That old witch will end up in hell soon enough. Huh. Who cares if a nurse finds some happiness where she can? Ooh, that seems like it's you. Um no matter how you feel about her, Miss Jones deserves our help. Who says I don't care for her? Hate is what keeps that old crone alive. <laughs> Uh. What can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You spoke okay, to that old gonna... Harriet Jones. Okay, okay, okay. Don't pay attention to her doctor. She's full of fanciful tales. All right. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Oh wait, your life in London. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, uh, come on. How's how is the Pembroke staff coping with the epidemic? Well, not well. Milton, the ambulance driver, is even more grumpy than usual, especially concerning doctors. Okay. Why is Milton grumpy on a daily basis? Is it just an act? Milton's not the kind of man who's bothered about a bad reputation, whether he deserved it or not. Huh. Why does Milton dislike doctors? I don't know. Just ask him. But be warned. Milton is not the chatty type. Right. Okay. Move. Move. There you are. Good evening, nurse. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, the new surgeon here at the Pembroke. Dr. Mm -hmm. Swansea has already told us about you, sir. I'm nurse Gwyneth Brannigan. Welcome to the Pembroke Hospital. Did he mm -hmm. It's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. All members of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion technique. Dr. Swansea made sure of that. I see. Thank you. Well, I'm a little surprised. I want to find out who's blackmailing. Come on. Notoriety. You must know, blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced it is the future. Sure. Yeah. Do you know if any of the hospital staff have criminal backgrounds? The people who work here all come from very different backgrounds, Doctor. Just like the patients. Okay, I guess that's... Uh... What is the situation? You told me about the staff. Eh. Tippis praises you, I guess. Why does Dr. Tippett's claim you're the main reason he keeps working, despite his fatigue? If it wasn't for him, I probably would have left the Pembroke years ago. Dr. Tippett's doesn't hmm. think of you as just a nurse anymore, does he? If you're suggesting he's not taking my gender into consideration when it comes to medical practice and knowledge, I really hope he doesn't. Hmm. So it could be Tempest is the Have you seen a strange man visiting any of the nurses here? I've never heard of such a thing, doctor. Really? Are you serious? What is her? She's a 5. I, okay, I need to upgrade my mesmerizing shit. Can I do that? Can I do that? Can I upgrade my, my Mesmerize? Build quality of the citizens, uh-huh. 
Right. Hmm. I guess not. Goodbye, nurse. Call me okay. All right. Fine. What's her face? Is she out here? Why is this bitch all the way out here? Where is she? She down there? Eavesdrop. Press V to activate senses. If a citizen is behaving suspiciously, their heart will emit a distinctive glow. By looking at a citizen's, you will unlock a special interrogate. Ooh. Oh, it's there, huh? Ooh, Dorothy. You're sure you don't come back with me? Nah, I ought to see someone at the hospital. Be careful. You look so bad they may keep you as a patient. Fuck them. I don't like hospitals. All doctors. Hmm. Well then, when you go back to Whitechapel, you may find this useful. What is it? A pass for a free medical exam by the best nurse available. Just read it. I don't read well, but thank you, I guess. Hmm. Was that the guy blackmailing the chick? Oh, she left. She gone. Let's do it. Let's get that shit. Poplar Sewers. Down there, huh? He's locked the door behind him. I need to find another way to follow him. Okay. Yeah. Gross sewers, gross sewers, gross sewers. Grassy, grassy, grass. Grassy, grassy, grass. Not okay. And uh, hello. Am I here? This man has been savagely attacked and dragged to the floor. Ooh. Damn it, I need a blood. Okay. Oh, I can't see it's so dark. Come 
Where? There's that way. I hear people this way. I know you can't breathe. Shut up. Somebody over here? Citizen to save. Careful. The endangered citizens may not survive the next night. Check on him. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Where are you? Damn it. I didn't want to leap. Didn't want to leave. Come on. Down here, huh? Whoa, no, go, go. Damn it. Get you, get you, yeah. Give me some of that blood, bitch. Don't wanna die here. I wanna see the sky. Feel the fresh air. Sure, 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 sure. Sure. Anything? Alright. What's up? Hi, uh, you didn't see me drink his blood, did you? Cause that's kinda awkward. Hi. Are you injured, sir? Help me get out of here. I need to get out. I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd be glad to help you, but you must calm Ooh. down first. Please, take a deep breath and tell me your name. Okay. Okay, I I I'm Oswald Thatcher. Please, I need to get Thatcher. out. Thatcher. All right. Oswald Thatcher. You're safe now. Do you yes, think I've been a bitch. The They're just vampires. Yes, yes, I do. Good. Now leave this place and enjoy the cool night air. It's quite invigorating. I'm sure you'll feel better if you do. Mm-hmm. Maybe a little bit of blood? Maybe a little bit of blood? Did I kill him? Don't kill him. Did I kill him? Newton, don't be sorry. We'll meet again soon. And we will be serene and beautiful. Shit. This just oh, that's. I didn't mean for that to happen. I didn't mean to kill the guy. Damn it. How? Um. What's? Am I stuck? Uh... Oh, 
okay. I was stuck for a second. That was weird. Damn it. Oh, well. Whoopsie doop. Whoopsie poopsie. Yo. It's down here. That was quick. All right, all right, all right. Let's let's keep going. Oh, this looks like someone I'm gonna have to fight. Oh shit! What, what the sort of creature is this? fuck are you? God. Come on. Nope. 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 Oh, shit. Is he a werewolf? Looks like a fucking werewolf. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Shit. Ah, damn it. How do you use your special powers and shit to fight? All right, this time I'm a thug. Let's do this. No, no, no. Come on. Shit. Come on. Come on. Oh, please, this time. Nope, nope. Go, go. Ooh, get it. Eat each bite you, bite you, bite you, bite you, bite you. Oh, that was something. Run, go, go. Nice. Here's what is left of him. Not a lot to oh. check, but I should anyway. Oh, thank God. Okay, if you are sick, if you are sick, if you have no money, whoever you are, wherever you're from, come see Dr. Dorothy to get help. No tricks, no change, no charges, no questions asked. Just find Darius per crew's house and present this coupon. Okay. Some voucher for a free checkup in Whitechapel. What is Nurse Crane up to? I really I must know. find her. My goodness. Alright, I've recorded way too long. That's all the time I have for this episode, guys. Ugh. Alright, I need to start using my powers more during the fights. But thank you so much for watching, guys, and if you liked the video, please 
leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. This game is good. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.